loving you it's easy cause you're beautiful and everything that you do ooh, ooh, ooh. di ko na alam ang lyrics <laughs> it really hurts ang magmahal ng ganito <laughs> sometimes talagang ano ang sakit pero kailangan talaga natin tanggapin Hi everyone, Chriselle Morales here. Welcome back to my channel once again. So here we are for another video. At ang episode natin for today is that I'm going to answer yung mga questions ng ating commenters uh, sa iba't ibang videos na in-upload ko in the past. Gusto kong uh, sagutin sila ng personal, kaya I'm... Um, making this video para mapanood ninyo at mapakinggan ninyo ng maigi at sana masabi ko ng tama yung mga dapat kong sabihin yon para this is better so that um, mas maliwanag yung mga sagot na pwede kong ibato parang bush, parang ganon <laughs> joke so please stay tuned so first of all I'd like to thank everyone um, I'll start this by uh, ex expressing my gratitude to all of you, lalong-lalo na ho sa mga nag-subscribe lately, sa mga nanood ng videos ko, and then sa mga nag-iwan ng comment. You know, every time you leave your comment at the comment box or at the comment section, na steer yung aking thoughts, yung aking mind, and you are helping me to improve my memory, to improve my wisdom, parang ganun. Ito din eh, parang exchanging of thoughts and ideas that I learn something from you and you learn something from me. And that is good, di ba? And of course, hindi ko kalilimutan yung mag-shout out sa mga nag-iwan nag ng comment lately. Isa shout out ko kayo as my way to, you know, to express my joy, as my way to thank you for you know, watching the videos that I have uploaded, lalong-lalo na yung mga videos about credit cards, ganyan. And sana po, panuorin nyo rin yung mga ibang videos ko. Hindi lang sana about the credit card, but you know, I have a lot of testimony na I believe you can learn something from it. So please also watch those videos because I'm making sure that at least meron kayong mapulot. Yun ang importante, meron kayong mapulot na na, you know, lesson or idea and hindi lang yun but um, ma-inspire kayo, you know, and sometimes through the, the videos that we, we watch and through the ideas that we receive from other people, sometimes we are being corrected yung mga ganyan and uh, salamat po sa mga naniwala, salamat for the trust salamat na uh, you know, uh, gusto nyo yung mga napapakinggan nyo sa akin, napapanood niyo sa akin. And I'd like to take this opportunity also that if you have questions or if you have, if you want me to do a video of something like this, of something like that, gagawin ko ho ang makakaya ko. Just let me know. Drop that uh, comment into the comment section and babasahin ko lahat. Uh, as what I've been telling you all the time, sabi ko, sasagot ako sa mga queries ninyo at sa mga comments ninyo basta I have the time kasi po empleyado ako I'm working every day and uh, yung pagbibideo dito sa YouTube is a part of my my you know my joy a, a part of, not just a hobby but a part of my system kasi dito na express ko din ho yung mga bagay-bagay na gusto kong i-share sa inyo na I believe kailangan ng bawat isa so yon just let me know gusto niyo gumawa ka ng video about this one gumawa ako ng video about this one so just leave it at the comment section okay so let's start na Uunahin kong i-shout out si Ronel Nakar. Hi, Ronel! Wala akong makitang picture mo dito sa profile mo sa YouTube, pero ina-mention ko yung pangalan mo, Ronel Nakar. Okay, nag-comment kasi siya doon sa videos ko about glutathione, glutathione and collagen na 
I've been discussing there which is better ba na itake glutathione or collagen. So, ang comment niya or ang tanong niya is this. Sabi niya, pwede po kaya ma'am iinom yung lactating mom? Okay, so ibig sabihin, nagpapadede siya. Ganyan, may baby siya. So, ang sagot ko is this one. Pagdating sa glutathione, no. Okay, no. Pagdating naman sa collagen, sa collagen kasi, it is being discussed as I research na parang madaming benefits because when you take uh, collagen, ano, uh, it sustains yung yung buhok natin, it sustains yung nails natin, and uh, sinasabi ng mga research na it is good. Kaya lang, in my own idea, since meron pa din chemical kasi dyan, so better not to take anything. So it's better to be sure than sorry. Anyway, it's not late, no? Pag, um, pagkatapos mo magpa, magpa breastfeed sa anak mo, uh, pag luma lumaki na ng konti yung baby mo, so you can already but the best thing you have to do is to consult your physician siya yung nakakaalam kung ano ba yung mga supplement na pwede mong itake while lactating para makasure tayo no so ang idea ko is this one kapag ako ang nasa lugar mo i will not compromise because i want my baby to grow healthy i want her to be in good condition so Saka na lang, di ba? Kapag medyo lumaki na siya ng konti. So, thank you, thank you so much kay Ronel Nakar. Thank you for your comment. Yan, nasagot ko na. At kung may additional na katanungan ka pa, please don't hesitate to drop your comment at the comment section. Sa kahit na anong video, sasagutin ko. Thank you so much! Okay, next tayo. Ang susunod kong isa-shoutout ay si... Tintin. Yan. Yan ang picture niya sa YouTube. Hi, Tintin. How are you? And thank you for leaving your comment. And uh, nag-comment kasi siya doon sa video ko about paano ma-approve ang credit card part 1. Okay. Ang question ni Tintin is this. Sis, paano pag OFW hindi na ma-approve? Okay. So, I have researched and asked yung mga dapat kong pagtanungan regarding this one. And sa PNB kasi, sa kanila, hindi pwede kapag OFW ka na nasa abroad ka. Okay, so kahit naman OFW ka kung nandito ka sa Pilipinas, sorry, sa Pilipinas, pwede kang mag-apply at pag na-approve ka, good. Um, pero kapag nasa abroad ka while applying for a credit card, I doubt kung pwede kang ma-approve because for the certain reason that kapag ni-receive mo yung credit card, kailangan ikaw mismo ang makaka-receive ng credit card. Second of all, during the application, dapat nandun ka with your signature and then mag-represent ka pa kasi ng mga documents like ID, like that. Tsaka, importante yung signature mo uh, doon sa application form. So, um, I think you have to, sa PNB, with regards, uh, under PNB, kailangan you have to be here in the Philippines. Now, um, I cannot talk about the other banks if they allow that na online application na lang. But we don't limit that. We can go to other banks and inquire. We can ask them kung pwede at kung pwede sa kanila. Wow, it's a great opportunity for you. So, Tintin, sana nasagot kita. But don't lose hope. Kasi katulad ng sinabi ko, ang pinagtanawan ko lang kasi is PNB. Sa East-West kasi, uh, yung credit card ko doon is that binase na nila yung application ko through my, my information sa PNB. I believe nag-research sila, how is my pay payment going on. Nag-interview kasi sila before. They, um, kahit hindi ako pumunta sa bank mismo, online lang, tinawagan nila ako. And then they ask all the information that is being needed for the application. And uh, uh, na-approve naman. So, yun tintin. Okay? So, I hope nasagot ko yung katanungan mo. Thank you, thank you so much for leaving your comment. At sana wag kang magsawa na manood. At kung may mga ibang questions pa, you can drop your questions at any of my videos. And for sure, sasag sasagutin ko kayong lahat. Okay, ang susunod ko namang isa shout out ay si Smart Champ Aves. Hi, Smart Champ. So, nandiyan naman yung picture niya or profile picture niya sa YouTube. Yan. So, thank you so much for leaving your comment. Nag-comment naman siya 
tungkol doon sa video ko na paano ma-approve ang credit card part 2. Yeah, part 2 yung nakalagay dito. At ito yung kanyang uh, comment. Ang haba, sorry. Hindi ko ito mabasa, ang haba. Pero, yun na lang sa mga highlights. Okay, ang sabi ni Smart Champ, Yes, I agree with you, Miss Crisel. Share ko lang. Din po, ano din po, ah, na, ako din po, walang work or any stable income. Ilang years na rin po. Bigla na lang ako pinadalhan ng BPI Credit Card Gold Master Card. Wow! With 120k, 120k credit limit. And then, after a year of using my card with a good credit standing, bigla na lang in-increase ng BPI to 180k. Wow! Uh, ang credit limit ko. And then, dahil inalagaan ko talaga yung credit standing ko, madali na lang ako na-approve sa BDO. Okay, you see? So, as what I've told you, na kung maganda ang credit standing mo sa isang bank na to, at nag-apply ka sa iba, uh, ibe-base nila kasi yung standing mo sa ibang bank, and yun ang isa sa mga basis nila to approve your credit card to that certain bank. Ayan. At na-mention di din dito ni Smart Champ Aves na sa RCBC, na-approve din siya, and then, Visa Platinum Land. Okay, yun ang minention niya dito. Again, ang taas ng credit limit na binigay nila sa akin. Maganda naman talaga yung my credit card kasi pwede mo siyang gamitin in case of emergency. At dahil daw dito, nagkaroon na siya ng negosyo at sari-sari store. Tama ba? Ah, grocery pala. Grocery store. Kaya salamat sa BPI for trusting me at kay Lord. Of course, kay Lord unang-una. Dahil sa tulong at gabay nila, naging maganda ang takbo ng sarili kong business. So, if you really know kung paano pangalagaan ang ating credit standing sa isang company na to or sa isang banko, talagang yan ang magiging basis nila at kapag nag-apply ka sa iba, wow, bongga talaga. Bonggacious. ba diba? So, once again, Smart Champ Aves, maraming maraming salamat for sharing that at sana sa mga nakabasa ng comment mo or sa mga nanood nanonood ng videos na to sana ma-inspire kayong lahat yon ang reward ng uh, pagiging uh, you know trustworthy alam mo ito yung uh, reward kapag maganda yung credit standing marunong tayong magbayad ng credit card natin on time so yun naman ang reward and it's really fulfilling Okay, ang susunod ko namang isa-shoutout ngayon ay si Ivan Moda. Is it Ivan or Ivan? So, hi, Ivan Moda. Thank you for your comment. And sayang wala kang profile pic, kaya hindi ko ma-post yung comment mo together with your picture. But anyway, uh, parang namali. <laughs> Ito, ano kasi siya? Yung comment kasi niya is under the faith and wisdom, yung new series ko. So, yung new series ko kasi is all about faith and wisdom. Alam mo yun, yung kagalingan na binibigay ni Lord at saka yung pananampalataya. May series kasi ako na ganon at sana panuorin nyo rin. And doon kasi siya nag-leave ng comment niya. Pero ang question niya, eh, eto. Nakakatawa ka naman talaga, Ivan. But I understand. Siguro gusto mong manotis agad yung comment mo. Kaya binigay, uh, linagay mo siya doon sa new video ko. Okay, so this is his question. Ate, paano po gumawa ng credit card na walang valid ID? Kasi po, ako, bago po ako naging 18, wala pa kasi akong valid ID. Please lang po, eh, itopic ninyo next video. Thank you. Okay, Ivan, I understand. But you know what? ID is very important kasi nandyan yung identity or yung identification mo bilang isang tao. So, importante na meron kang valid ID. Hindi ka kasi pwedeng mag-apply ng credit card without without a valid ID. Itatanong nila yon Para bang proof of purchase? <laughs> Parang ganon, no? Paano sila maniniwala na ikaw ito? So, paano sila maniniwala na pwede kang pagkatiwalaan? So, kailangan meron kang ID. Kung wala ka pa talagang ID like driver's license, you can have the ano, postal ID. So, it's easy to secure. Uh, kailangan lang 
meron kang birth certificate na in-issue ng uh, NSO, yung uh, application form nila. And then, another one is that kailangan yata ng valid picture. So, yon Gawin mo yon Pumunta ka muna sa post office. Mag-apply ka for a postal ID. It's easy. At saka yung requirement is madali lang talaga. Importante, may ID ka. Okay? So, kung wala ka pang driver's license, as what I've said, postal ID na lang muna. And that is a valid ID kasi government ID yan. Okay? So, Ivan, thank you so much. Thank you for your comment. Okay. Next shout-out ko ngayon is Darlene Faith Cloma. Is this Cloma? Okay. Yun ang basa ko eh. Um, di ba sana Coloma? Pero ang nakalagay kasi dito is Darlene Faith Cloma. At ang comment niya doon sa video ko na paano ma-approve ang credit card part 1 is that subukan ko, ha ha ha, sabi niya. deny rin ako, ha ha ha. Okay, so don't lose hope. Try and try and try until you succeed. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much uh, Darlene Faith Cloma. At ang next naman na shout out ko is si Mark Anthony Salas. Thank you so much, Mark Anthony. Um, Nag-comment din siya doon sa paano ma-approve ang credit card part 1. At ang comment niya, okay, nakakuha ako ng idea. Wow, thank you so much naman. At I was able to impart new ideas and good ideas to you na pwede mong basis sa mga gagawin mo in the future, lalong-lalo na sa pag a apply ng credit card. So, maraming maraming salamat sa iyo, Mark Anthony Salas. Okay, additional. Disclaimer lang po, hindi ho ako nag i ng mga tao para umutang or para mag-apply ng credit card at eventually magkaroon ng utang. Kasi po, ang pagka-credit card or ang pagkakaroon ng credit card is an obligation or responsibility na kailangan magbayad ka monthly. So, okay din naman ang may utang, ang may credit card, basta lang kaya mong panindigan, kaya nating panindigan. Of course, as what I've said, better pa din yung walang utang. But just in case that you are mature enough to handle a credit card, then good for you. Kasi, ang credit card nakakatulong lalong-lalo na sa mga emergency cases, lalong-lalo na ngayong COVID. Um, meron talagang kaakibat na responsibility ang pagkakaroon ng credit card. You know, it really hurts ang magmahal ng ganito. <laughs> Sometimes talagang ano, ang sakit pero kailangan talaga natin tanggapin ang responsibility mo as, uh, you know, a card, credit card holder. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga nanood na naman sa videos na to. I couldn't really express my gratitude. And uh, I love you all. Although, posible naman yan. Sasabihin niyang mahal niya tayo. Hindi naman niya tayo kilala. Of course, I know your names. Alam ko kung sino yung mga nag-subscribe, mga nagli-leave ng comment. Kaya, uh, I cannot stop myself from saying thank you and I love you all. Loving you. It's easy cause you're beautiful. And everything that you do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Di ko na alam ang lyrics. <laughs> so before I end this video, please stay safe and follow the health protocols. It's better to be sure than sorry. So. Thank you so much and please sa mga hindi pa po nag-subscribe, meron po tayo dito. Tap nyo lang po iyan para makapag-subscribe kayo. Pati na po yung notification bell, itap nyo na din. O oh, ba naging robot na ako. Thank you, thank you so much. Maraming salamat and you know, I thank God because of you. I really thank God because of you. Thank you so much.